Hey guys, this is Steph Mischuk with KillerSites.com. In this quick little video, I want to teach you about something called Gears and how it applies to WordPress. So let's first go to, to the Gear site. Now, Gears basically is something that Google put out. It's a project that allows your web browser to be much more powerful. It's something that Google put out because they wanted to make it easier for web programmers to create more powerful programs so that uh, the web applications, a web application, by the way, is a program that runs within a web browser, something like WordPress. So it will allow web applications to interact with the desktop more quickly so they can, you know, drag and drop files, store files, that kind of stuff. You can store data locally, and of course, one of the most important things and the whole subject of this video, it will allow you to run JavaScript in the background uh, much more quickly. So the boys at WordPress, uh, since version, I think, 2.83, they've implemented Gears, meaning they've put Gears into WordPress. They've used it to speed up the admin UI of WordPress. So here I am at the Killer PHP blog, and here is the WordPress 2.83. You can see WordPress here is saying to me, uh, you should get the latest version 2.84, which I haven't done yet. But anyway, so we got 2.83. What I want you to do, I want to go in, in your dashboard here, I want you to scroll down to the Tools menu. Now I have it opened up, so you can open it up like this, click on it. And when you get to the Tools menu, if you have Gears installed, which I have in this browser, then you're going to see this Turbo Gear Status. Gears is installed on this computer, but it's not enabled to use with WordPress. So you would click this button, and Gears would be enabled with WordPress. So, you know, let's go to Gears here. As I said, Gears is installed. Let's see if I go to Safari. Now, I'm using a Mac here, but this works just as well on a PC, of course, on Windows. Let's see, so here. Oh, yeah, now Safari does not work with Gears because they haven't programmed Gears to work with Safari, so we're, uh, we're out of luck there. But if you have Windows, Gears will install. So first thing you got to do, you got to go to gears.google.com and install it. If you, uh, if you don't have it installed, you see a button here that will say install Gears. Install it. You know it's safe because it's Google. And once you've installed Gears, go to your WordPress, and I'm assuming that you have WordPress 2.83 and up, and you scroll down to your Tools menu, and you click on Tools, and you're going to get this screen. So what you do is just click Enable Gears, and this little pop-up will appear. The website below wants to store information on your computer using Gears, wordpress.killerphp.com. So I'm going to go, yeah, I trust the site, allow. You see files are updating here. So now what's happening is Gears is depositing all these files onto your uh, local computer for this particular blog. So let me discuss that again. You see, if you have multiple blogs like I do, I have, uh, of course, the Killer Sites blog. I had to go through that process with the Killer Sites blog. I had to install the, the WordPress Gears file. So for every blog that you have, if it's on a different URL, you're going to need to just go into your Tools menu and uh, hit the root of Tools, and you're going to just add Gears. I recommend adding Gears because what it essentially does, it speeds up the admin UI uh, of WordPress. So that's kind of cool, if you're, especially if you're doing a lot of blogging. I'm Steph Mischuk with KillerSites.com. I hope you found this video interesting.